M0 FXB ham deck just tinkering around with these Bofeng 888s. They're UHF radios, but there is software that apparently allows you to use them on two meters or, or 144 megahertz ETC. So if we go to Chirp, which is a, a free download, I'm using this sort of older legacy version. I'll put a link in the description. We've got a Bofeng UV5R cable. They're only about four or five pound on Amazon. So grab yourself one of those twin pin cables, plug it into your radio, plug it into your PC. Then go back to Chirp and read from the radio. So download from radio. Of course, right click, device manager, get your COM port number once you've plugged in, which here is on minus 52. Okay, so on the software, select 52, Bofeng 888, click OK, and it's going to read. And these radios are really fun and handy to use, even if you don't modify them. There's plenty to do on 77s, PMR, all that kind of stuff, probably GMRS in the USA. So you'll see I've managed to get some 2 meter frequencies in there. Now, normally, if you try and change, yeah, if I try and change one now, 145, I don't know, dot 600, and click anything else, it's going to give me an error. So what you do to try and get past this is go to radio, let's get it right, help, and enable developer functions, okay? That's ticked. Then go across to down here on the left, it says settings. You've got settings and memories, okay? So we'll highlight one of the memories. Let's do one that's not on two meters. Go across to view, then developer. Show raw memory, and that shows us what's in each channel. See this? Move it down, fascinating. Now there is a section where you can actually change this. Settings, let's find it. We had it here just now. And I think to, to enable the developer selection that we've done, you now have to close. First of all, upload it to the radio. So we'll click upload. Click OK. Then close the program. I might as well save it somewhere just for fun. Save. Just going to go over it for now. I'm going to just right click on the desktop and click refresh. I saw the other person doing that. Now I'm going to reopen Chirp, which is here, should be, there it is, Chirp, and then reread from the radio, so upload, no, it wants me to download from the radio, not upload, download from the radio, which we are doing. So, okay, click OK. Right, let's try the developer thing again. Radio, still it developer look. Now here in the settings, last time I did this, we have, ah, root appears. See this, you hit settings, browser, root appears. Double click that and look, suddenly you've got channels showing. Memories, go to settings and settings two. Double click the memories tab. So click the, pl the, click the plus, then hit the plus on the memories and they all start to show. So let's just say we're gonna change, we're looking here at the memory channel. So let's go to memory channel number five, okay? And that looks like it's one I've already changed. Yeah, so I'm just looking at all these settings, there's one of them maybe allows it to transmit, but I'll tell you why in a minute. Receive TX tone. So let's do um, the receive frequency on 145, uh, then it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 noughts. Receive, 1, 4, 500. Transmit, 1, 4, 5, 600. Okay. And that's on memory number five. So we're going to now upload it. Now I'm thinking that one of these might need to be changed to allow it to transmit. So we're on memory number five. 
then we'll go upload to radio click OK and then we'll read the radio we'll go download from radio bit of a delay but we're now downloading from the radio so I'm going to close the old one just go to downloads I'll give it a, a name of just HH so I don't lose it and it's in my downloads so now if we look at number five we've got one four four six eight five no number six wasn't it was it number five or six that's interesting let's have a quick look back in the settings browser root double plus the memories number six that's ah, 145 that's not the one I thought I thought it was number five we done unless they're numbered like see the way that the naught maybe number one is actually um, number naught let's look at so number five at the moment is one four five six hundred on number five We'll go back to memories, number five. Yeah. It could be like that actually, because look, number six, one, four, five. We definitely got two meters on there. So, hmm. Let's look at what number seven is. So number seven is one, four, six, five, five, oh. Go back here to number six. One four six five five zero. Let's go to number seven. One five four. So number seven is one five four seventy seven. Number seven is one five four. Yes, it's one out. So that's some learning. So that means in theory, if I now upload this to the radio, uh, number six is on. It's hopefully on uh, GB three WR. You'll notice that there's no tone there though. I don't, and I don't think you can change the tone in this. Let's try it. Tone. Yeah, you get the error. So what we need to do is we need to know what the tone is for 94.8 and try and put it in there and change the number. So what you do is go to one here where you can set a tone. There's a tone. Okay, and then we'll do it as 94.8. Okay, 94.8 and it's we will need to know what a duplex is. So we're going to select minus. All right. So we know that channel number four, which I suppose is going to be number three. Yeah. So let's go to number three. I know this is all long winded, but anyway. Number three, which is there. We know that the tone code, look at this. The transmit code, ah, 94, what, 94, is that 8? Yeah, 948, that's interesting. The receive tone we're not using. Is there anything that gives it permission to transmit? That's what I'm wondering. Anyway, 948, so we go back to that one we've been tinkering with. Which is this one here. No, it's this one here. And so here, we should change that to 948, okay? I don't know what this means. We've left everything else. We're gonna go upload to radio. Click okay. And then we're gonna grab the radio and see if it does anything. So it's still good learning, isn't it? Bye for now.